Hi, this video is brought to you by PrivateKeys.com. I'm going to show you guys today how to activate the Russian Steam version of any game. Actually, not just this is going to be for Modern Warfare 3, um, but this can work with any game. Okay, so the first thing we do is uh, we go to Steam and we connect to our Steam account. Okay, just go ahead and close that. And then we go to games and then go to activate product on Steam and then click next and accept that. And the first thing we're going to do is put your key that you got from privatekeys.com. Um, I'm doing this video uh, for Claude because uh, his English is not the best and uh, he can speak English pretty good, but um, he has some problems sometimes. Um, explaining things in English so I'm just gonna do it for him all right then uh, hit control and V we're gonna paste our key and then it's gonna say not available in your country your orders have your purchase has been cancelled now don't freak out it's a very easy fix for this I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna exit out of your Steam account and go to where you purchased it privatekeys.com and in the right hand so right hand corner over here you're gonna see it says free VPN go ahead and click on that and then there's a download link right here. Click here. And then go ahead and save the file. Now, if you open this file and you have Adobe programs on your computer, um, Adobe Pixel Blender will mess with this and not allow it to be opened the way it is supposed to. So there is a fix on Google for it. Um, I will put the link in the YouTube video for the fix if you do have an issue where you do not see it the way I'm going to show you right now. So we go ahead and open it and you can see it's showing the connection and it's usually going to be set on, there we go, China. So we're going to find the Ukraine, which is right here, and we're going to click Connect. Now you're going to put the demo for the username, I already have it there, <clears throat> and then demo for the password. And then you're going to click Connect. Now this is going to make your computer go rather slow, so um, for most of the part. Um, okay. So now I'm going to open Steam again. And this will take a little Connection bit of time. Lost. There we go. Now your Steam count's open. It's going to be slower than your normal connection, so just go ahead and close that. Don't use this to, you know, go on the internet with it all because it's horribly slow but it works fairly well with Steam. So now we're going to go ahead and activate the product again on Steam and we're going to um, click next and then we're going to accept that and then we're going to active, uh, use the product code that we got from privatekeys.com and we're going to paste it in and we're going to click next and activation is successful. The reason why it's successful is because we are on a Ukraine VPN. There are other VPN programs that you can use. Uh, myself, I use a, a, a little bit quicker, faster um, VPN than this, but this is free, and you can see this works absolutely perfect. Um, this saves you a lot of money than going to retail stores and buying keys. So, <clears throat> um, okay, so now it's activated, um, and then click uh, Next and then click cancel because you don't want to install it on a VPN. Um, now what I would do is this. Click here, right click, go to properties, go to language, and make sure this is what I'll do. I would set it on Russian. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, it's going to go slow for the VPN. Okay. That's going to take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the VPN. I apologize about this. 
to close it go back to where you downloaded the VPN double click on it and then click hang up and then you want to hang up yes because it's ridiculously slow and then close it and close that <clears throat> now we can close that okay now we can go to properties and we go to language and we'll change it to English Oh, it's saying I have no connection. There we go. So now it's downloading. Properties, language, English. Okay, close. And then we're going to right click, go to properties, go to language, go to English. You can select any language you want, actually. And uh, there's no use for a, uh, for the, for the uh, download, uh, uh, there we go. No use for the, the download these large language files. Um, just go ahead and accept this on here. This is telling you that there's some content that may not be suitable for little kids or something. So, and just go ahead and we'll go back to the library. Okay. Let's go ahead and resume the downloading. Okay, so that is that. Um, it will install normal like uh, it should on your computer without any questions. Um, it should be in the language that you select on there, so make sure you select the language. Um, the best thing that I would say to do is select Russian, and then when it downloads real quick that small file like it is right now, um, then I would change that back to... Um, English or French or Spanish or whatever you want to play it in and then the game will install um, fine you just really need to use the VPN access just to get the key activated I hope this is clear I've seen a lot of videos online um, which I don't understand why people don't speak clearly or if they don't slow down when they show people things um, I hope I did this to the best of my ability I hope I hope it helps out my boys that don't know what the hell's going on and screaming about language packs and wonder where to get them and what's going on. It's uh, uh, this should be a very simple fix for everybody to do. And uh, now you can go ahead and uh, enjoy using Russian game keys. And uh, sometimes language files take a little while to come out. Um, you know, I had to wait too, just like everybody else. I was bothering Claude; he was going crazy, but uh, you know, no big deal. And uh, you guys have a great night. Later.